I'll let you know. Thank you so much. Nice. I see something purple in the background. Hey, everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. Well, today is day nine of the 10-day Ultimate Weight Loss Bundle experience, where each day you meet anywhere from three to five of the bundle contributors, and they tell you about their product and often do a cooking demonstration and give lots of value with what they like to teach. Well, what's the bundle? If you've been watching me all week, you know that it's a wonderful collection of 112 distinct products like ebooks, courses, live events, programs, videos, MP3s that you download. You have a year to do so and you own for life. If you price them separately, they would be a value of over $4,700. But if you buy them during the 10-day bundle experience, which expires tomorrow at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time, that's Wednesday, March 2nd, it's only $49. And one of the offerings in the bundle is a $10 off coupon for Plant Strong Foods. So then it's like almost like you only spent $39 because you get $10 off your broth or pizza crust or whatever the wonderful product you decide to buy from Plant Strong Foods. So today we have Vicki Brett Gack, and she contributed a wonderful course to the bundle about batch cooking for weight loss. And even if you don't need to lose weight, it's still a great course because everybody needs to batch cook. Please welcome Vicki. I love what you do because your recipes are so good. I heard you're actually writing a book with a lot of your delicious recipes. Well, thank you. And hi, Chef AJ. It's so nice to be with you and with everyone today. And yes, I am working on a cookbook and um, information about that is coming very soon. It will be ready for release very soon. And um, I'm really excited to be here. And I'm so excited that you invited me to contribute to the bundle, Chef AJ, because this bundle is so tremendous. I cannot believe how many fantastic things are part of this. And so I'm so happy to, to um, have my class be part of this as well. What I created is a class that I call Batch Cooking for Healthy Weight Loss. And, you know, I call it for healthy weight loss because it really helps people who are looking to lose some weight to do some organization in their kitchen that helps them work towards that. But even if you don't need to lose weight, um, this is a really helpful class, I believe. And I've been told many um, of my the followers have been able to send some feedback saying they're really appreciating um, this class and how easy it is to follow. And so along with this one hour class, I have included a PDF of about 12 recipes that help you to spend one hour in the class batch cooking, in other words, preparing some ingredients in larger quantities than you would eat at one time that allow you to mix and match and build over 20 meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner just from that one hour that you spend in the kitchen. So I thought I'd walk you through a little bit about how this goes. Of course, we're not going to spend an hour together cooking, but in this class, it'll, I'll show you how to do it. And I'll show you, just give you an idea of how much food you end up with at the end of that hour. The idea of batch cooking in my class is to use different parts of your kitchen at the same time. So you're using your time really efficiently. You've got a pot of soup cooking in your instant pot, something roasting in the oven, something in your toaster oven or rice cooker and so forth. So here's where we start. We start basically with the the food that takes the longest is what I'll start first. And so that's where I just, I have a warm pot of soup. I actually made this in my instant pot and rewarm just a portion to show you right now, because I actually froze this. I didn't just cook this today. So this is called red lentil soup. And I'm going to just move closer to the camera to show you. This is this a creamy soup that's made with lentils and vegetables and curry. And it's just so super flavorful. And what I love about this soup is a couple of things. It's got lots of flavor and it's really easy. So you put it into your pressure cooker to cook in your instant pot and it does all the work for you. And when the soup is done, it's ready to enjoy in a bowl by itself or with added vegetables or over a baked potato or however you might like it. And what's so great about this is it also freezes beautifully. So you'll get like 12 servings of soup from this pot of soup, at least maybe more, depends how much you like at a time. 
And it's just so creamy and comforting. And, and this is one of my most requested soups. And it's also one of my easiest. So I, I'm really happy to include that in this group. And so we get that started and we've got that bubbling away in our instant pot and then we move on to put something in the oven and so that's where we roast some potatoes and so i've got a platter here a lot of times i would make even more than this but i've got some potatoes and sweet potatoes and i just stick those into the oven after i've scrubbed them clean and bake those I poke them a few times and bake those in the oven until they're tender usually about an hour or so and then i actually um, at the same time, you can stick something else in the oven on a different shelf. And that's what I did with this cauliflower. I roasted some cauliflower in a, in a pan. There's nothing on here, no seasoning at all. Although you could put a little smoked paprika or cayenne pepper or something like that, but it just gets golden brown. There's no oil, of course, or anything like that. And it's just absolutely delicious. Like I could sit here and just eat this. I love cauliflower so much. So this is one of those building blocks that we can add it to other foods once we've got all of these nice ingredients to, you know, that we're starting to create together. And the next thing that I stick into the oven, and this maybe cooks for half hour or, you know, 40 minutes, something like that. And as we pull that out, we stick in a pan full of onions and peppers. And so I've got some jalapeno in here. You wouldn't need to put that in for the heat, but I've got different colors of bell peppers and onions. And this is going to be a fantastic ingredient to mix and match in any burrito or on top of our potatoes or to make a nice bowl with veggies and grains. And after that, so now we've already got lots of things kind of coming and going. Maybe something goes in the toaster oven, just kind of depends how you know, how many things you want to make at once. And of course, you don't need to do all this at once. I'm just sort of maximizing how many things I can create at the same time. But if you only want to make a few of these, you sure could. Um, and then I stuck something into a rice cooker. So this is some quinoa, which cooks really quickly. It's just quinoa and water and it cooks nice and fast. And so this is a lovely thing to add as a filler to a salad or add on top of a burrito or a wrap, create a bowl with that. It's just so tasty and nice texture. And it's, that's a really nice thing to have as well. And from there, we're gonna build some, I've got some asparagus and all of these things are kind of mix and match. So if asparagus isn't in season and you see something else you wanna use instead, these are just ideas of whatever happens to be available. And so I'm talking about lots of vegetables that I'm roasting, but I'm also doing, and this kind of comes next because this takes only a few minutes, is I'm also taking some frozen vegetables and just sticking those into a pan on the stove, just a big skillet to saute frozen spinach. I actually added some frozen broccoli, but I like doing it with just spinach and a shallot. So that onion flavor gives it kind of a lovely additional boost of, you know, something nice and savory in here, which mix and matches beautifully with all of these other flavors when you're building different kinds of meals. So the last thing that I'm building here as one of my ingredients that we're going to mix and match is some beans. And this is how simple this was. It could be any kind of bean that you like. This is black beans. And I just put it with, into a pan. So I drained it, I rinsed it, and I put it into a pan. Certainly you can make beans from scratch, but this is just kind of an easy way to get things started in your kitchen with just two cans of beans and some salsa or and some tomato sauce that has no additional oil or sugar added. So now I've got all of these different things to kind of mix and match. And we've got our beans and these greens. And so now we've got lots of things that are ready to kind of build together into bowls and wraps and top our potatoes and so forth. And the last thing is something that's specifically for breakfast, although absolutely any of these foods on top of your potatoes or in any combination you like would make a wonderful breakfast. But I specifically built here into this something that we traditionally think of as breakfast, and that's oats. 
So you could do, you could line up and make four or six or eight of these. I just did two just to kind of give you an idea. But what I did here is just build some overnight oats. I, I made these last night and it's just got oats with a little bit of non-dairy unsweetened milk on top with some frozen fruit. I've got peaches and blueberries and I just love the colors that those create as the blueberry juice kind of drains down into those peaches below and you can use any fruits you like. So if you don't have frozen peaches, you could use mango, you can use fresh banana. In fact, when you dump this out into a bowl to eat it, you could add fresh additional berries or a banana or any kind of food, fruit that you like. And so these are really lovely. I usually have something savory almost every day for breakfast because I think that's just a better way for, to start the day. I know Chef AJ feels that way too. So I don't usually crave anything that's sweet in the morning anyway. But this is kind of a nice dessert even or something as an afternoon snack when you need a little pick me up. You could add a little dash of nuts if that's something that you eat on top or some raisins or something like that. But this is just fruit and I forgot to say cinnamon. So for apple pie spice or pumpkin pie spice. And so we, you can have a refrigerator filled with these lovely overnight oats and they're ready to eat in the morning. You just warm them up and they're ready to go. So this is when we mix and match all this stuff, we've got all kinds of meals. So I'm just going to show you a couple things I like to do with this combination of foods for, for, you know, a nice lunch and dinner. I mentioned already that you can take the lentil soup and freeze it. And that makes wonderful meals for later in the week or for next week, if you didn't finish all of your soup. But here's a couple things I like to do. I like to create a wrap. So I'm just gonna use for this wrap an Ezekiel wrap. You could use just lettuce or um, any kind of wrap that you like, but I prefer this kind that's an Ezekiel wrap. They come in different sizes and they're flourless and sprouted. So for me, this is a nice way to kind of build it, but you can again, use whatever you like. And now you, we've got just the starting blank palette basically. And I'm going to put onto it some, you could just put some mustard or some, you know, whatever you like or nothing, but I'm going to put a little bit of hummus on here that just becomes kind of the glue. I like to have something that sort of helps everything that I add adhere to the wrap. So we're going to put that aside. You could add, as I said, mustard if you wanted to. And now I'm just going to build it. So this is kind of just fun to just add um, a little bit of quinoa, make it nice and hearty. And then maybe a little bit of beans because beans are just so nice in a wrap. And you can make this as big and overstuffed as you like. Maybe we'll put some of our Our green vegetables that we've got here are broccoli and spinach and stick a couple of spears of asparagus on top as well and cover it with some peppers and jalapeno for a nice little bit of bite. And so we've got this beautiful wrap already, but if we want to, we can just add a little bit more wonder with some beautiful red cabbage. And now this is all ready to roll up and enjoy or to roll together. This is something I like to do with these is kind of uh, roll it into a nice wrap and stick this into a panini press so that it gets nice and crispy on the outside and nice and warm and gooey on the inside. So this is ready to enjoy for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Honestly, this is really, really good. So We've got that, certainly dip that in a little more flavor if you wanted some salsa or hot sauce or something like that. And the other thing I just wanted to show you is taking all of these ingredients and mixing them and matching them in a different way. And there's really no end to how many combinations you can make. 
But let's start with a delicious sweet potato of any sort. This is just a simple one here. And now I'm going to layer some, we could actually layer some of our soup on top if we wanted to, to kind of get that started, get our party started, add a little bit of beans on top of that, and maybe some cauliflower. This is just going to be so delicious. This is a great meal for any, you know, lunch or dinner. And then we can put a little more peppers just because, again, there's just great flavor in here. And then let's just top this with a little cilantro. And we've got a beautiful stuffed baked potato. Oh my God, everything looks amazing. You know, in case people are not real familiar with you, you did an amazing Christmas dinner. And even though it's not Christmas now, they should watch because you repurposed all the leftovers into entirely different meals. Yes, we did. That was so much fun to do. And, you know, this is kind of how I cook in the kitchen. And so I know you do as well. When you've got some food to use, it sort of gets you the creative juices going and you start to think, hmm, how can we use this? These are all such great building blocks. It's like Legos because every single one of these is great with the other ones. And so there's such interesting kind of endless combinations of things. You know, if we had, couldn't get one of these other vegetables, maybe we use a cabbage and roast that in the oven with, with you know, it's all the same principles. So um, these are nice and simple and flavors that people are familiar with. So it's a great place to start. But just in this little time, we've got this wonderful wrap and a great potato and a pot of soup and, you know, um, our overnight oats for morning. And so we're really ready to enjoy meals for breakfast, lunch and dinner throughout the week. And that's really the key, whether you're just trying to be healthy or you're trying to lose weight or both. Um, certainly you want to lose weight in a healthy way. And it comes down to eating good, solid, real food. The holiday show was Christmas. So all you have to do is go to my YouTube page. That's why please Facebook people watch on YouTube because then you can see the chat and you can ask questions and you can see the recipes. So you just go to December 25th or just put Vicki's name in the little magnifying glass, which you did an amazing job because nothing the next day was anything like what you had made the first day. <laughs> yeah, that was right. It was fun to do. I really, it was really great. Thank you for uh, inviting me to do that. That was fun. Yeah. And um, yes, Marjorie, the bundle has her batch cooking system class and recipes of Vicki, Brett Gack, yes. as well as other classes. Like there's an amazing batch cooking, not batch salad prep class from Tammy Kramer. And please realize that almost every single offering in the bundle sells for the price of the bundle or more. What else yeah. have you noticed in the bundle that you're going to take a look at? Well, you know, I just wanted to tell you, I'm glad you asked me that because I've just started to explore. There's so much you can spend so much time. I mean, there's just things waiting for me, but I started with just a few things that I'm really having fun with, which I've printed off because I'm old school and I like paper. So I've got here, um, Tammy Kramer's, um, nutmeg notebooks, beautiful chopped salads, which is just amazing. And Chef AJ, I printed your recipes as well. And I'm just having lots of fun going through those. And I printed um, the, another fantastic, the Giroudi family, Brittany Giroudi's book. And Kathy Hester has a class on dry mixes and making sauces from dry mixes. And I've got that and the Well Elephant, uh, Lauren Burnett, uh, her book and um, Cindy Thompson's, and I've just got so many here. And another one that I printed recently, in fact, and bound it because it was so big, is the beautiful book by Nathan Maris about uh, nice creams. It's so thick and wonderful and, and inspiring, really. So it makes for lots of good fun. And I actually just created this morning a recipe from Elspeth, um, the Speedy Vegan. This is her recipe for breakfast oat cookies. And I just had an apple that looked like it was ready to be used. And I added it on top of her delicious cookies. And now we've got, you know, a delicious sugar-free, oil-free. It's just bananas and apples and raisins and cinnamon and oats. And it's just perfect for breakfast, lunch, or dinner 
as a, well, not for a meal, but for, you know, snack time and for a little treat that you can feel really good about. So I'm really excited to have all of this information. And I just, we're, I'm getting fantastic feedback from everyone who's gotten this bundle. It's amazing. Thank you. And we're getting such nice feedback from people watching, for example, Vegan by the Big Apple said, I bought the bundle recently and absolutely love the wealth of resources. Thank you so much for making this happen. Uh, people are admiring your hair color. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Victoria's class is actually Saturday, guys. Uh, there was a misprint on the PDF. So um, just know that there's a few live components to the bundle. Victoria Moran has a three-part class. Dr. Neil Barnard uh, in, towards the end of March and uh, Dr. Jessica Krant on March 20th. So make sure even though you have a, a year to download everything, you'll want to do it as soon as you possibly can. And sometimes people say it's easier to download one at a time, even though it takes longer, because unless you have a, a mega computer, when you push download, I'll realize there's a lot of content in 112 classes and things like that. So yeah, very cool. I just want to eat at your house. I mean, is the food always that good? The food is always this good because it's always this easy. I mean, that's really what I try to do is make eating healthy easy. And so, yes, this is just, these are simple, simple ideas. That should, that would have been a great name for your book. That's my new tagline, we'll say. <laughs> healthy eating made easy. What is the name of your new book? My book is called The Plant-Based for Life Cookbook, and it's going to be coming out this spring, and I'm going to have more to announce about it very soon after the bundle's over. Great. Well, when so. it, I hope you'll come on the show and maybe make a recipe from it when it comes out. Uh, Rhonda says, can you freeze what you build, wrap soup, or just freeze everything separately, then defrost and build? So some of these ingredients, I think, freeze better than others. So this soup really freezes beautifully. Um, and probably the beans would as well, but the, and the quinoa for sure. And if you didn't feel like quinoa a different week, you could make rice, brown rice, black rice, something like that. Um, I think the vegetables are best enjoyed probably as they are. Maybe if you want it and you had extra, you shouldn't have extra, eat those up. But if you did, I would think probably put those into the soup first. I don't think I'd freeze them by themselves. I'm not sure the texture wouldn't would hold up very well. But, oh, you know, one other thing, and th I'm not, this is just for fun. I don't know if you've seen the Vegify um, crumbles, but mm -hmm. these are what, just freeze dried. Those? So Vegify.com, I'm going to say, uh, recently saw, um, I think, I'm going to say Brittany Giroudi was using these, but I had never heard of them, looked it up, and they have three different flavors that are all just single ingredients. It's just beets, um, and it is purple carrots and yellow carrots with turmeric, and they're dried, freeze-dried, I suspect, and um, have the texture breadcrumbs. So they're really fun to just add on top of any of these things where you want a little crunch. And so we could do just that. This is just beets and potato. I said single, but it's two ingredients. You could add double if you, you know, more than one flavor. And it adds just this fabulous crunch on top, kind of the texture of a seed, but it's just vegetable. So it's just a fun new product that um, I just discovered. And since I did, I have bought like four packs of all of these things so I can give them as gifts to people I know who will love them as much as me. They're really good. They're just vegetable crumbles. So yeah, take a are peek they, at those. Are they crunchy? They're very crunchy, just like a, like a panko breadcrumb. That's very cool. Yeah. So it's kind of like, um, you know, I know you use those uh, potato, purple potato sprinkles. Right. Are those from is, yeah, they're Pensy? hard to find unless you go to Penzi's. This is great. Same idea. Same idea, but just a little bit smaller. I'll show you the texture. We'll just pour out a little bit so you can see. It's just like sprinkles too, but just kind of here. Let's come up to the camera. That's so cool. Kind of like almost... Yeah. Bacon bits that aren't bacon. That's right. Very nice on top of a on soup or salad or wraps or on top of a. I like it on mashed potatoes. I mean, it's just just fun. We like crunch. We don't get crunch all the time, so it's fun to have a little crunchy. 
Yeah, unless we eat unless we eat vegetables <laughs> like celery. That's right. And That's right. Like that. Wow. Yeah. I mean, you just really make it easy and doable and delicious. Thank you. That's the idea. So, yeah, ready to go, ready to enjoy. So, guys, if you love Vicky like I love Vicky, order the bundle right <laughs> now from her link because in about yes. uh, thirty six hours or so, it'll be gone forever, and then you'll be sad. Yes. Nobody is sad if they get it. No, I mean, I, I haven't had one, one person saying, I want my money back. I mean, most of the thing is like, is this for real? I get all this. It's like, it's like getting Christmas in, in March. Yeah. yeah. It's like a buffet. It's like eating at a buffet. It's like all you can eat. There's so much information from physicians and from, you know, chefs. And from, I mean, there's just so much. I really just can't say enough. I'm so excited to explore it myself. No, well, I thank you for contributing to it. Thank you. Yep. Infinite love and gratitude says we do love Chef Vicky. Good. Well, then get it from her because she has a wonderful course. All right. Well, I hope to see you again soon. Please let me know when the book's coming out. I want to be one of the first to have you on so people can see the book. And can you give us an idea how many recipes are in the book? Thank you. Yeah, um, I, I'd be so happy to come back. Um, there's a, just over a hundred recipes. So it's a lot and there'll, it'll be full color and lots of information to kind of help people get started, whether you're new at this kind of eating or not. So something for everyone. Right. We got a comment. I'm amazing at all that's available in this bundle over a thousand, even if it was just over a thousand recipes, it would be worth it. But all those courses and PDFs. Well, great. Okay. Well, thanks so much, Vicki. And I appreciate you being in the bundle and your wonderful contribution. I, I have not watched the class, but I looked at the PDF and it's fabulous. Thank you. Thank you so much. And so great to be with you. Absolutely. And I love your shirt. I have, I have a purple one from that company. It's one of the softest shirts I have, and they're going to be on I the love show. this shirt. Yeah. yeah. They're going to be on the show March 11th again. So tune in because they, they have some great stuff. They do. They do. Yeah. I love them. Uh, Alyssa says, Thank you, Vicki, for your contribution to the bundle. Marjorie says, thank you. So does Lisa. And thanks all of you for watching oh. another episode of Chef AJ Live. Please come back in only 15 minutes when we have another bundle contributor who actually has a weight loss webinar in the bundle that I've already watched. It's fabulous. And her name is Dr. Nikki 